Welcome has come to upstate New York. Fall colors abound, and we welcome you inside Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And no return here to start. It's a fair catch, and they will set up shop at the 25. Start the drive with Cook. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. This defense for the Dolphins, they really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. They sure did, and the key number to me was total offense allowed, which was barely over 100 yards. That's a heck of a sign that this defense is really putting all the pieces together and doing it cohesively. And they run the option on second down. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment running plays like this and they still worry about it but when you can break up big chunks of yardage like that it's worth the risk plus you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs bradley chubb there on the tackle the bills at two and four here in the first half of the year yeah, they've lost three straight here it, it kind of goes without saying i guess but they could certainly use a win yeah, no doubt about that. There's a difference between a losing stretch and a losing streak. And right now, they're not playing their best football. But if they were to fall here, and now you're looking at going four games without a win, things can start compounding themselves pretty quickly from this point forward. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Third down and 10. Allen running the option to the left. Now the ball comes loose. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. Well, he was having success there, holding on to it on the option, but ultimately problems downfield, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and this is a tough one because you know you'd prefer to have your quarterback either heading to the sidelines are getting down at the end of the play. But you've got an aggressive one. He's fighting for extra yardage, and he gets stripped there. You don't need him to be a hero in that situation. You want your quarterback taking care of himself. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know the funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open. 
Something complete. They're all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. But you look at this defense. They really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. And all defensive teams that I know talk about creating turnovers, takeaways, they call them. And anytime you can get two or more in a game, You've had a really, really good performance. They exceeded that number in a big way. Room here to run. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him 32 on the play. That's why you call a screen. You want to catch a defense over committing. Plenty of space available, and that matched up perfectly. What a convoy he got downfield to pick up big yardage on that play. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. First down, here's the run with Cook. Down to about the 37. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. The kick by Bass is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Here we go, here we the go. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Benjamin St. Juice there on the stop. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Again, it's a chair Muscles him off. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. 
He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. On second down, a run by Achan. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here's third and seven. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. A run straight ahead with HM. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. HN here, they stay on the ground. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Three yards the pick up there. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now HN on first and ten. A 
another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, CD, a lot of times, like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also... And he is in! Touchdown, Miami! Devon Achan with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins are able to extend their lead. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience... How much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On second down, Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And Allen will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact at the end. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. On second down, here's Allen. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. This offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Hallett. Finding Knox there, complete. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to six now. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Let's go. 
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember, drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Still a few inches short of the first down as they come up now on second down. Up the middle, H in. There he goes, left side. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 55 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. On the handoff, it's A-Champ. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. On first down, back to HM. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago. There's another one right there. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll run for it with A-Chan. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. And they'll give this day champ. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Second and nine now. Eluding the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remaining.
remain, we step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. The Charles for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Out of the gun is a good day, champ. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. And even 100 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. him seven up to midfield well you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football sustained runs taking their time okay, and making it work ball right on the 50 yard line here's second and three now they'll throw here out of the gun he'll dump this off to H.A. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Straight ahead, here's the long move. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh no, legs, no. and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. A run now from HM. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. There's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack is a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to the ground, HM. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Devon HM 
His second TD of the game and 16th on the season. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point try now for Moody. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a free possession game. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Allen running the option to the left. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Bills. Drake London, 30 yards. And the Bills are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. And quickly, they get to the line. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Well, they would have gotten a conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 
So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Bills on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. On second down, here's the option. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. And they're going to speed things up here. Now give to Cook on the lead option. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Allen running the option to the left. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. That'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second down and a yard. Allen going to keep it. He'll grab three yards on the play, taking it himself for the first down. Now, that was a designed run. Now, remember, if a quarterback goes feet first, he's protected. But if he dives head first, he's not. On that play, he figured the risk was worth the reward. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. But keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top-five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. They work now on second and nine. Six. Option. 
action play. Here's Cook. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. Play action. Now it's Allen. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Here's second and eight. Flushed out right. Wisely to throw that one away. And when you're in a one score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And this one is incomplete. That's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Here's second and seven. Now Allen. He'll buy some time right. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. To throw, it's Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. He got 29 yards that time. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. 
And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Here's first and ten. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Fourth quarter. Down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Here's Allen. Now an option play on second down. Down to about the 22 here. But just a gigantic play here, both sides. This is third and inches. To throw is Allen. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. You know, as a defensive guy, I don't normally do this, Brandon. But a tip of the cap to the offensive coordinator. Design quarterback run at this stage of the fourth quarter when I expected him to throw the ball. And he got a first down. Yeah, trailing this stage of the fourth quarter. Picked up the first, stopped the clock, too. Yeah, sometimes there's some guts in play calling when you go against the grain because you know you could easily be criticized if it doesn't work out. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second down, goal to go. Now Allen, and he stopped immediately there. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. First touchdown on the year. And the Bills have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. Throwing Allen. They'll try and run it in. And he's going to get into the end zone. The two point conversion successful. And we've got ourselves a tie for the ball game. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. This is first and ten. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Here's second down. He'll drop to throw. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. And appreciate that they wanted to go for the win, not play for overtime, but that's the cost right there. Not so sure their fans feel the same way as you when they just watch that ball get picked and taken the other way, and now they're down six. Looks like it's going to be a loss for them, an absolute catastrophe when they tried to be aggressive. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. Get 
They'll come up first and ten here. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. A little more than 40 seconds to play. Now second and 10. Back to throw. Flush to his right. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills have just about sewn up this football game. The damn D. So far this season. And add another feather in the cap for the coaches, too. Excellent game plan. And they had their guys aware of his ability to roll out and how to defend against it. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. an excellent come from behind victory Charles especially there in the fourth quarter both offense and defense were clicking they're going to feel good about this one boy are they ever because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small they obviously did not give up on that one and in the end how about that come from behind